A lot of you have asked me that how to structure properly when I'm working on a decentralized application. So this is the architecture I would recommend you. So if you are developing your component for your application, so I guess that you have multiple components in your application, just like in this project, which we are developing, we have the admin, we have the overview, we have contacts, we have dashboard, global homepage calculator. So tons of component we have. So when you do in this way, like you just make it a separate individual component in that way, you can able to do the customization very easily and you can able to plug it to anywhere in the application and you can create as a reusable model. So this is the component where you have to keep all the component Here we have the context in which we keep all the information regarding the context manager, the, the contract connection. That's what I have. If you come back to the pages, it's as a single page application. We have the home page and I have the dashboard. And here we have the app.js, which is the global configuration for our wallet. So that's what I have. If you come back to the Web3 provider in which what I'm doing, I'm building the wallet connection because we have multiple wallet provider. So that's the configuration you will find. This is the custom signer and provider object I have built. If I come back to the wing config, you will find that this is the configuration I have done. So I'm getting the chain ID from the wing and that's what I'm configuring here. So this is how you have to structure. You have to keep the things separate. So all the code which you are dealing with the front end, you have to keep it on the front end. And here I have the Web3 where I'm keeping the smart contract and the back end part. So I need only this section when I'm deploying the contract. So that's the thing you have to keep in mind.